I think I said the other day, Mila's tools always come in handy for me. I don't have any channel locks. So. I have a chocolate bar. Oh, you have a chocolate bar? No, baby, it's on this side you gotta show. Chocolate bar. Yeah. It's so yummy. Yeah, you really shouldn't be having that for breakfast. Three-year-old's toolbox, helping her, <laughs> helping her professional build her father. <sighs> okay. Let's see. There we go. Whoa. It worked. Okay. It's day six. No. Day seven. Day six. Day seven. Day six. Day no, day seven. seven. Say seven. 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 There we go. Um, okay, yesterday. I don't know if we can see this. It's dry now. Right, Mila? All dry. Just be careful, okay? Don't drag your feet on it. So, shower pan is dry. Now we're going to paint this bucket of Red Guard. We're gonna paint the shower walls. Or, wait, are we? That might be backwards. I think we're gonna put this fabric on the floor first, on the shower floor, and then maybe start tiling this wall. Mila's artwork um, and then once that fabric dries then because I have to overlap it I have to lap it up the wall a little bit so then I can paint on top of that just for you know extra um, okay so that's the plan today we got the heater going we got our chocolate is that keeping you warm and we got the real snacks. Um, and then I guess we're gonna a banana. try to do a banana. a banana. Oh, you wanna show your banana? Delicious. And an apple? Wow. Okay. And chocolate. And chocolate, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. And I have to put sheetrock. The sheetrock guys put a little temporary piece there, but I have to fully cover that in sheetrock. And that way I can overlap all the fabric because that has to wrap up and over. Um, so we'll do that. Just gonna work in the bathroom today, get as much done as we can. All right. Okay, what is it, baby? Seven? Good job. Eight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Very good. Eight, seven. Seven? Okay. Mark seven. Good job. Okay, so we got... Seven. Good job, honey. We got our mud mix. We're going to start tile on this wall. Got my center mark right there. And uh, where's the laser? Gotta love this little baby. <laughs> you like that? Can I show you? You can draw on those lines. And I don't have to worry about anything being level this way because it's a brand new house and I built it, so. I know it's low, and if it's not, that's my fault. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna run the tile right on the plywood. And, uh, because we're doing vinyl floor, so, um, you know, I'm just gonna go right on the plywood, vinyl up to it, and then do some trim around the whole bathroom, which will be cool. Because I don't wanna do the vinyl and then the tile on top of the vinyl. It won't look, 
I mean, you can do it that way if you're still gonna do trim, but it won't look right if uh, you don't do any trim. Cause like if this was a tile floor, I would do tile and tile and no trim and it's just a grout line. But with it being vinyl, we're still gonna want trim no matter what, so. I'm just gonna start the tile. Makes it easier too, right on, the, right on the floor. I don't have to mess around with any level. Only when I get here, I'm gonna go up, run it over, and then this bottom piece, oh careful honey, hopefully is not a little tiny cut, but it's only so much you can do. I don't wanna start with a full piece in there because then when I come out, this out here could be a little cut and that's uh, even more of a pain in the neck because I have to go around the whole room, so. Um, well, you know what, it's actually better. Don't, hey, don't look at that, honey. That can hurt your eyes, okay? Please don't look at that. It's better if I lay this out. Can I help you? Of course you can help me. Can you back up a See, we'll start with the full piece here. Look at this. Uh-huh. Unless we break up the shower. Oh, no, but we're not going to want to do that. Okay, I, Daddy lied. What? I don't know, we might we might do We might do a full piece in the shower. And leave the bottom open. Except I have to get wood to Okay. I lied. I lied. Um, I am going to do a full piece in the shower, so we are going to start from the shower, uh, whoops, we'll start inside the shower with a full piece, and then come out here, and that little piece on the bottom, since I am doing trim, I can put it, I probably will put it, um, just so there's no, like, space, you know, in between the tile on the floor um, but it's gonna get covered because I have the trim so that works out nicer so uh, that's how I should have started this is when you do tile lay out what you're gonna do first but oh watch out honey here it's okay we'll clean it off okay let me hold on bring it over bring it over more scoot it over push it there you go now Make sure it sticks. And then put the spacers under it. Three years old, doing tile. One of my proudest moments. Don't forget your, uh, huh? don't forget the blue spacers. Hmm. Baby, you need the spacers, don't forget. Can you use the white ones? What? Just different colors. Here, let me cut this one. It doesn't go there, baby. Yeah, it is. No, Mila. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it is. 
It goes, look, like this. You see this one? Oh. It goes under the tile. Oh. I can hang. That's only for daddy to use, okay? That's hard, though. What? Okay. So we got up. Um, this is like above where the vanities would be. So I marked on a tile where the stud is. See the screw? Just so later, when I go to install the vanities, I know where to screw. It's just to make sure I hit the studs. Um, so the way the tile laid out is this is a full, exactly full piece. So it's like, it's short on both sides. So I'm gonna put, because we're gonna have the shiplap on the ceiling, so I'll need a piece of trim all along the ceiling. So I'm just gonna follow the trim along the ceiling and then come down the corner of the tiles. Um, and it'll look nice. Um, so usually, I'd go over something like this with a customer, like, okay, well, what do you want to do? Um, See, I can try to, um, you know, I can try to space them apart a little more to make it fit like this, but if the wall's going, you know, say if the wall's tipping a little bit the opposite way, you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi, I'm doing spackle. No, you're doing tile. Spackle. No, this is spackle. You, that tile. tile, very good. Backle. You're doing a great job too. But you know, so once I put this tile on, there's still a space. So it's not right or wrong in this situation, but since I have the trim going on the ceiling, um, there's only one, you know, one, two, three, three inside corners. Hello? Okay. Me and Mila got, this is the vanity wall. We got uh, pretty high. I just don't want to go too much higher. I have to mark out where those lights go. But while she was sleeping, I did the uh, waterproof membrane. Wraps up each wall two inches over the curb. Same thing on the other side. So this is what I was talking about. Being able to do a and in this case, a very large shower for, um, you know, very inexpensive. This orange material was probably the most expensive. I think it was 70, 70 maybe 70, 80 bucks for the roll. Um, and, and that was it. It goes down with thin set. Um, so you got wire mortar and this stuff and that's it that's now this is waterproof you tile right on top of this but I'm gonna paint the walls with the red guard but I wanted to do this first so it's like the proper overlapping this will go up the waterproof paint will come down to the corner and then and we're 100% waterproof and uh, I gotta set up my tile saw in here but the guys are spackling I don't want to be in their way yeah, they still gotta do all the nails. Um, because I started this wall right before we went to eat lunch, but I need, this wall I got away with it because I had easy cuts, so I used a manual cutter. But this wall, I have little, because a full piece down here and on the bottom is a little too big, so I have to, once it gets past like anything smaller than like a quarter inch, I have to use a actual tile saw. But I like these. Saves you a lot of getting up and down and walking around. For a tile like this, where it's like subway tile, nice, easy, soft tile, these things work great. Um, I'm just trying to, yeah. So in here, the toilet room, there is no, I'm not doing any tile in there. That's just going to be paint. So, um... And then I have these black strips. So this will be my edge. Edge here, tile right up to it, and tile right up to it on this side. That'll be really nice. White, white subway tile, black grout, black edging, and then all of our fixtures, our faucets are black, the lights are black, all the hardware is black. Um, 
we like the white the white and black look it looks pretty nice um I'm trying to think i might i can't start this wall because this wall goes it all connects in with the shower so like this is actually i'm going to start from here and go this way then i'll go up and over and down that way i might just i might just keep going here probably my best bet okay day seven was good just stopping a little early um i, I did that one wall tile the shower waterproof membrane so tomorrow i will or i should say we because mila's working with me uh, this is oh, this is where my uh, my water is now for the hose because i hit it twice so it's my special spout here <laughs> um so tomorrow and i set my tile saw up which i'll show you guys tomorrow um i have a cage that allows me to use the tile saw inside so water's not getting everywhere which is like a lifesaver so tomorrow i'm going to do more tile and paint the sh red guard on the shower well i'm going to do the paint first so it dries while we'll the tile and then i'll hopefully get two coats in tomorrow i just got to fill up some connect all the hoses fill up some water for the spackle guys and clean my tile stuff so tomorrow's another day.